Alright, T. Is this thing still? Yeah, it's going. <coughs> Hello, I am Katana the Lightning Cat, YouTube and your favorite idiot. I don't think I'll be able to get back to finishing my Dead Space Impossible difficulty playthrough anytime soon because three days ago I go and loaded it up on my Xbox One and it wouldn't let me finish signing in through the Xbox 360 BIOS overlay so I couldn't load my save on the game and at this very moment I am on my Xbox 360 currently re-downloading the game and all of the add-ons that I have for it by the way I've had this game and the the DLC for it for over 10 years I've still got the disc Hold on, I think I've got it right over here. Yep. Still got the disc. Fancy that. There's only like one or two medium depth scratches. Most people I know don't even don't even take care of their game discs. Like they'll have it like a week and it'll have really deep gouges in it. I'm talking uh, like a couple of millimeters instead of just a, a mild surface thing that can be buffed out. It'll be millimeters deep into the disc. I've had that disc for over 10 years. Just a mild to medium surface scratches. Not even a whole millimeter in depth. Huh. Not even sure how to gauge. Maybe just a couple of microns, but just enough to be visible at the certain angle of light. Still, the, the laser reading skips right over those most of the time. Just a couple of microns is barely it's barely a quarter of the, the depth of a strand of hair. So that's that's fine. That that just it still works. But anyway I couldn't get back into it from the Xbox One side of things and I was gonna go and do that so this is the third day in a row that I haven't been able to actually log into it so I troubleshooted it I went through and uh, checked uh, some of the suggestions one person's suggestion was password length that's never been a problem 16 digits you can still go on to your 360 and your Xbox one no problem with a 16 digit password yeah I'd like the 360 to be formatted for a longer password but what am I gonna do about it it's not like I can submit to Microsoft a fucking update for a console they're choosing not to support so that that is not going to work the password's fine what were some of the other options it was two-factor authentication yeah I checked that that's not the problem I tried re-downloading the profile didn't work I'm very very 
very wary of clearing out my Xbox One's local 360 save data or profile data or anything like that because I can't go into it and select what options for what things I delete and remove like I can on the Xbox 360. So I don't want to do that because if I lose all of my save data from how far along I've gotten in the game I will have to go back and play it all over again get up to where I left off in my playthrough and then proceed from there if it even works that's that's a big if I'm not gonna put any any stock on that option that is just that's a horrible fucking option that's like jumping off of a cliff to, to cure a foot ache. To just no. <laughs> you don't know if you're going to survive or die. So, what I'm doing now is re-downloading it on the Xbox 360 and I'm clearing out my backlog of Xbox 360 game downloads in progress, which I'm guessing may have something to do with it, but this is just uh, a guess that it's getting the information cross-wired between the Xbox One, the 360, and the Xbox 360 BIOS overlay on the Xbox One. So I'm, I'm grasping at straws trying to fix this problem so that I can actually finish my playthrough because I really want that last achievement. Just one achievement left in the game. Then I'll be done with it. And this is the either the first or the second I can't remember at this particular moment but it's either the first or the second game that I've been serious about actually getting through and completing on any difficulty setting other than easy so that's where everything's at right now as far as all of that nonsense goes so let me sum up I'm trying to fix me not being able to log in on the Xbox One's 360 bio simulator so that I can finish my Dead Space Impossible difficulty playthrough and get that final achievement. Yay. And it's taken quite some time to do so. So, there's a like and a dislike button. Pick whichever one you want and click on it. You're totally your choice there. Do whatever you want with that one. There's a subscribe and a, a notification button. You can use those also if you like. There's also links in the description for these videos that go to the PayPal and Patreon and other different links through which you can throw fallacy credit my way and say shut up take my money and do something stupid you fucking idiot and don't forget shut the fuck up train that's not it at all <laughs>